Hey students, welcome to Lead School Summer Program 2021. My name is Apiksha and I will be your buddy for today's super duper exciting activity session. Please note, this activity is made for our students who are in grade four and five. Also, please just be sure that you have your parents along with you because there might be some steps that you might take help from your parents to do. Great. So before we begin today's activity, let me ask you two really important questions. Um, the, my first question is, how many of you love music? You can just raise your hand or show me a thumbs up if you love music. I love music and I'm sure you do too. Great. My second question for you is, how many of you love to create musical instruments? Let me repeat. How many of you love to create musical instrument? I love it and I would love to share my experience with you. So when I was a kid, uh, somewhere about your age, I used to get together with my friends in my summer holidays and I used to create, we all used to create small musical instruments and play them together and have fun. So this brings me again to today's activity and I'm really excited to do this with you. We are going to create a really interesting in instrument which is called kazoo or some call it harmonica. What do we call it? We call it kazoo or harmonica. All right. Now, before I show you what materials do we need and how should we go about it, let me repeat. First of all, my name is Apeksha and I'm going to be your buddy today for this super exciting activity session. And please note, this activity is based, uh, it is made for students of grade four and five. And also just to be sure, make sure that you are sitting with your parents who can help you in certain steps because you might need to use some scissors or there is some cutting and you would need their help. Great. So let us start with today's activity. Let me show you what are the materials do you need. First, I'm going to show you the materials. Then I'm going to give you 30 seconds to just go and grab them quickly and come so that we can begin. All right. So these are the materials that we have for today's session. First, grab two ice cream sticks. Grab two ice cream sticks for yourself. If you do not have ice cream sticks with you, you can get a cardboard, cut them into this shape, make sure that you're cutting two and get them ready to use them. Great. After getting these two ice cream sticks, you are supposed to have two small rubber bands. Make sure that you also have some extras with you if they break. Then the next thing is a straw. Now I've taken only one color straw. You can use different colors to use them and to make it a little more colorful. So get a straw for yourself and keep it ready with you. Now the next thing is very important. I am going to today use a paper uh, in my activity. If you do not want to use the paper, you can also use a rubber band. So it's optional and it's up to you. Now, disclaimer is this rubber band has to be the bigger one. So that means you're getting a bigger rubber band if you're not using the paper and you're getting these small rubber bands, which you are for sure using. So just to make sure that this, this should be the difference for sure in the size of the rubber bands. Great. Now these are the material materials that we need. The next thing which we need apart from these materials are a pencil. I'm going to use it. A pair of scissors, which I'm going to use today. And a pair of your stapler, which you have at home. Apart from this for decoration, you can use, uh, this is called a sticky tape which you can use to decorate. Let me just show it to you a little more closely. 
and today i'm just going to show you so i never had this before so i'm going to just use my sketch pens or these are some markers that i had at home and i'll use them to just put some decoration on my kazoo great so let me just display all this for you and and i'm going to give you 30 seconds to just go and grab all these and come back over here and i'm going to put a timer for you and your 30 seconds start now the moment your 30 seconds are over you'll hear a bell so make sure that you're back on your screen all right so your 30 seconds start now All right, so our 30 seconds are over. I hope you have all these materials with you. Now I'm going to show you how to create the kazoo with these materials. So first of all, clear your table. Make sure that you just have these two sticks in front of you. And start off with first shading this. So I'm going to just outline this um, stick so that I can cut the same size of paper to use. So slowly just keep your stick on the paper and outline this. I'm doing it along with you, so you can, you can also start with it. Make sure that you're doing all these activities along with me. So I'll just slowly outline my stick on the paper. And now, Please do not use, if you have um, child-friendly scissors, you can use them. But if you do not have them, please ask your parents to do this with you. They need to cut this shape with the help of the scissors. So let's do this together. It's absolutely fine if it's not it's not very clean or it doesn't look very pretty. That's completely fine. This is anyway going to go inside the sticks. So how it looks doesn't really matter. All right, I'm almost done. Great. Now you can crush this paper, keep it on the side, make sure that you're not throwing it anywhere on the ground. Make sure that you throw it in the dustbin. Great. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take the paper, keep it on top of one stick and staple it. Again, Please ask your parents to do this for you. Please do not hurt yourself in this process. Make sure that you just staple it once. Stapling it once is going to be enough. So here I go and I have stapled it. Great. Now that you've stapled it, take your straw and measure this. Now make sure this is a very important part. Make sure that your straw that you're going to cut has to be a little more bigger in size than the than your uh, width of your kazoo. So make sure that it is at least this much. So measure it and cut it. When you're cutting this, make sure that you're holding both the sides, right? So your parents will be uh, will be doing this for you, but make sure that you're holding it like this so that this part or this part doesn't really fly off. 
All right, so let's cut this. It can be around one centimeter. I think two centimeters is going to be more value, uh, more valid. So just cut this. Great, so it didn't fly up. Now take that piece which you've cut and measure it so that you're maintaining the size and cut it. Again, <laughs> please be very careful that you're holding it on both the sides so that it doesn't fly off. Awesome. You can keep this and use it in something else, um, but keep it on the side. Now one, so we have two pieces now. Keep the other piece on the side and take one piece and where you stapled, where you stapled your kazoo, the paper, just put it on top of it, okay? Now, when you put it on top of it, just make sure that you're putting the next stick on top and putting a rubber band, okay? So the small rubber band you can just take out and you can use it over here. So you basically need to lock this part. So I've done a double board and I have just locked this. So this is how it looks. And it looks like a duck from here. Yay. So lock it from here and then take another and put it under your This one goes under your paper and place it rightly. And again, take the smaller rubber band. I have it over here and lock it. Let me lock it properly. It's okay if it, um, it's okay if, you know, this gets damped, that's completely fine. Make sure that you have these waves made by the paper between your kazoo, because that's what's going to create the sound for us. All right. Now we have made this. Now what we're going to do is now this looks, this is like your basic kazoo. You can start decorating it. So the major work is over. Get out your, uh, amazing decoration stuff. I didn't have any, so I'm just you're going to use two different color um, color pens. Uh, one is black and one is blue. So because I love music, I'm just, and I also studied, I'm just going to create some musical notes on my kazoo. And I'll show it to you once I do it. Uh, you can also get all your, either you can use a, sticky tape, which is a decorative sticky tape, or um, you can use different sketch. Using colors and oil paste colors are not going to help because this is a rough surface. You will have to use either a paint or a, a sketch pen. What I'm going to do is after we are done with this, I'm also going to show you different ways of decorating it uh, so that you can do it after this activity is over and you can make it more fun. So let's create these nodes. It's absolutely fine if you're not good with drawing. Please do not ask your parents to do this for you. This is your activity. So I'm also not great at drawing, but I never asked my mother. So make sure that you are doing this by yourself. You can be as creative as possible. You can write your name. You can write your best friend's name. You can just write kazoo. That's absolutely up to you. So on one side, I've just drawn these musical notes. And on the other side, I'm just going to write my name. So I use another pen. I can do some shading also.
Okay. I'm almost done. Uh, let me give you all 50 seconds more so that you can decorate and come back and then we can go forward. So yay, this is my kazoo. I've written my name over here. And on the other side, I've just made some musical instruments. Great. Giving you exactly 50 seconds to go complete your kazoo and then come back for more, for more information. Okay. Yay, all right. I hope you are done with the activity. Now, pick up your kazoo and let's try to play it together. What you can do is you just press it from one end and try and play it from that end. So it's going to create a little more better music for you. Yay! So my kazoo works really well. I hope yours does too. Make sure that you're not using this to disturb your parents at home, but you're using this to have fun and create lovely music with your friends. Great. Now, what I'm going to do is, as I promised you, I'm going to show you some different ways to decorate your kazoo. And I'm going to show that to you in one second. Let me share my screen with you. Till then, till the time that I show you, um, I want you to practice this. Uh, just go around, show it to your parents. Um, make sure that you're not blowing that this in the, into their ears, but just creating some music out of it. Before we move forward, let me reiterate this, that this activity is made for our students who are from grade four and five. And this activity needs to be done under the supervision of your parents, because as you saw, there were a lot of things that we had to cut and we had to do it. So just make sure that your parents are with you. Uh, before we go on to the decoration part, let, let us um, recap. So what we did was we took two sticks, right? These two sticks, we took, um, then we took a pencil and we took one stick and took a paper and outlined the stick on that. So we cut it out and then we had pasted it on one side, stapled it. After stapling it, we put the straw, putting the straw, we put another stick on top of it. Then we locked it with this rubber band, as you remember. And it became like a duck. Remember that, yeah? The first, after you were done with the first step, it just becomes like a duck. Now, after doing that, we put another straw on top of the other one, on the other side, the extreme end. And we covered it with the paper, which is already there in between, as you can see over here. And then we locked it again with the rubber band. And then we decorated it by doing very simple things which I also show you how you can do a lot more. And I just wrote my name. So that's how we decorated this. And then we blew it. And that's how we created music. Great. Now I'm going to show you my screen and help you with some more decoration advices. 
Okay, so this is something that you can do here. For example, they have painted it here. They have painted it and just written their name in some decoration and stuff. Instead of using um, rubber bands, we they, you can also use threads to lock this, but make sure that you're locking it really well. Another thing what you can do is that you can paint your sticks in different colors before you start the activity. You can't paint it all on top of it because um, the rubber band or other things are going to restrict your paint and it's going to look a little shabby. So make sure that you're painting it before you start and then you start the activity. Also, you can use different straws to uh, different straw colors to put them in between. It will just make it a little more colorful. Another thing that you can do is, uh, and you can try this at home, you can put two more straws in between to create different pitches of sound. So you, when you do that, you might just get a little more different sound than what you just saw uh, me getting right now. If you're not getting the sound, all you need to do is just fix the paper a little bit, press it from both the ends and then blow. And I'm sure you're gonna get this through. Great, so students, uh, today's activity is done. I'm so happy, I had so much fun doing it along with you. It brings, brand, brings back a lot of memories of childhood. Great, so what I'm going to ask you to do is, I think most of you have done this already. You are supposed to go to our uh, parent app, which is already in your phone. If you don't have it, please install it from Play Store. First step is log into the parent app and student app and click on summer camp card. So you have a summer camp card like over here, which you can see. Click on it. Next is click on the activity number in the dashboard. So if this is an activity number two, it, it's going to come in a bubble, which is of yellow color. Click on it. Third step is click on the video tutorial for the steps to do the activity. You will get a video tutorial how to go step by step in the activity. If you are not able to um, understand, you can always pause it, replay it. You can, all, you can do all of that and do the activity. And uh, then you can scroll down and click on upload. Now, this is really important. After you're done with your activity, I'm sure you have a lot of creativity that you've put on it. So do not, do not forget to upload the picture, the image of your activity on the app, on the activity and upload it and then submit your activity. Also, what you can do is you can send these pictures to your school, your teachers and your uh, principal, and they will also share it on their social media. And of course, there are lots of surprises which are there in store for you. So make sure that you're doing this activity, posting the picture and getting a lot of prizes for yourself and for your school. So in the end, all I would like to say is that uh, thank you for coming today and make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Enjoy your summer holidays with these activity and we are going to meet very soon for another one. Thank you.